Hello, welcome to the Red Room. Today we're going to address uh, something that comes up now and again. Uh, are, are, are our games political? Or propaganda. Or propaganda, or exactly. Precisely. Political propaganda. The answer of, for that is, of course, no. <laughs> but we'll talk about it and bore you all. So this, this came up probably the first time, I think. Well, well, yes, of course. This was released and banned, but uh, after that there were several other things. Uh, the last time it was uh, a couple of days ago, uh, can't remember. It was on the list was about it. Oh yeah, the list. The new list. Yeah. So... Um, the DD is doing, right? Yeah, uh, so um, Diversity and Dragons released a new list of uh, companies that produce games and uh, divided in, uh, between heroes, villains and Cowards, I think. Yes, traitors. There's also traitors there. Cowards okay. So the, it, it's almost the same thing, but it's more like um, more personal, maybe. I don't know. Because, well, I don't know. A anyway, it's the um, personal as in he's, he's doing the list by himself, but I'm not sure because I wasn't uh, looking at the, the stream. Uh, so they are, uh, it is a division of. Uh, Companies that are uh, woke, not woke, and uh, no ones that bend the knee, but they they, they don't include wokeisms in their uh, games. And then there was a conversation about that uh, with several people, among them um, Benoit Poir, who is um, that guy with the French accent and uh, and Twitter. Uh, it wasn't really an, arg an argument; it was just a conversation. Uh, Obviously, he thinks that man is uh, political, at least perhaps propaganda. Yes, a right wing. He said it was a man yes, was a right wing game. Right wing. Okay, so um, not we're not going to try to prove anything. We're just going to talk about the subjects and read a bit of uh, not just man, our wretched games as well. Well, I would say that for people that uh, when the the man controversy came out, people that bought and read the book, they said, "Oh, this is not uh, this uh, shoots out at everybody." So it's not uh, right wing propaganda. It's not anti war propaganda. It shoots well, of course. It so we are, there's a lot of complaining. Yeah. Uh, there's not there's a lot, lot of complaining about the work on that group, but the, yeah. the satire. It just, well, not, it's not uh, quite the work. The, the word work is never mentioned there because the the book was written now probably eleven years ago. Yes, so. that's another thing that, that we were discussing. That if the if man had been written now, probably would be different. A lot different. Yeah, certainly. Um, so this was written 10, 11 years ago, more or less. Um, that's why probably there are uh, references to things like feminazi, mm -hmm. which is probably not uh, as used now as it was 10 years ago. Um, and other There's stuff. There's no reference to woke. As to woke yeah, woke, not, a, not, not, not balazi, none, because no, yeah. The, 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 the feminist men are called. But what we're trying to explain to people is that this also makes joke, of, um, makes a lot of fun of the toxic masculinity trope. Yeah, no, and not just that. But we'll, yeah, go, but that's we'll go into that in a, in a bit. So, uh, we're not going to discuss if um, there are politics in the games. We can agree that everything is politic because now it's everything is politics from that. So. What yeah, is that, politics but, and what maybe. is not? So, let's not even try to go into that. So, Okay, everything is politics, so there is politics. Is. And maybe the only way to um, get away from politics at all will be doing or writing or uh, publishing dungeon crawlers, where everything is about uh, puzzles and uh, monsters. monsters and uh, labyrinths. And I guess it can be politics free at completely. Not even high fantasy can be. Uh, Completely uh, yes, politics. If you have there will a be... bad guy, then yeah, that you can say that the bad guy was inspired by the Nazis, as supposedly happened with Lord of the Rings. Uh, and if you if you have a, uh, a chivalry order, you can say that they are the patriarchy, and perhaps probably. So politics can seep in, even if it's a high fantasy game or. A, Space up again. Well, that's why people are trying to rewrite the classic stories. Yeah, and in that case, they and are trying to make them. Uh... In that case, they are trying to make them work, right? Yes. That's so they are, but that's the propaganda. Part. When when it's start comparing games, that for example, the woke games, they aren't just politic. 
They, they have an agenda. The agenda is very obvious. Like this sun kills fascists. Like this, <laughs> the name says it all. <laughs> so even the, the, the fucking game's title says, this sign kills fascists. And we know that when they say fascists, they don't mean Italians in the 30s or the 40s. They mean uh, people they don't like. In this case, I think it's the future. Like, that's kind of a psychopath stuff. And then you have uh, 30s or lesbians and queers. Mm -hmm. So this these game, games, the uh, game about disabled, I don't remember how it's named, uh, how, what's the I name, but there was a game about disabled people, when the point was, I don't know, playing differently able people, we cannot call them disabled. Oh yes, differently. So one thing about men, uh, there's no uh, agenda here, and there's there's no, there's not a, one of those chapters that's a, that says, if you are a, a noble Aussie, you can play this game. No, there isn't. So, well, I would say the introduction, but I'm not going to read when this is a work of satire. That should say it all. Okay, so, um, no, it's not a work. Yes, I know, it's a work of a satire. A satire. I know. A, satire. a very serious satire. If you do not like what this satire says, he's going to ram you in the guts with his big ass horns and then ram you with the. Well, never mind. Yeah. This is not really important. And this is in the, in the site. Okay, so do we have anything le uh, left for the introduction? No, or should no. we? Okay. So, now let's talk a little bit about what is inside the books, and uh, you probably never saw it unless you, you bought it or you, you saw someone reading it somewhere else. There's a chapter here about the humans of Aetia. Aetia, Aetia is the name of the planet where this takes place. And uh, there are some things here that uh, are particularly offensive for different people, and uh, some of them I'm not going to read, so because probably we would be cancelled uh, by Again. YouTube. Yeah, so <laughs> try to pick something that well, we can we have make. The okay, so let's let's let's, let's read the Vikings. Yeah, okay, let's read first the white. So there are, there are several tribes. In um, I'm going to read the name of the tribes. So yeah, you can read the name. The name yeah, the names great. I can read them. Okay, so there are several tribes in um, in Haiti. There are real men, real men. They are not from there. They are from Herd, because they don't have real. Men. The other ones are men, but they aren't real men. And that's a distinction I'm not going to make now. Okay, so there are the Africans, the Latinos. I'm not going to read from this. <laughs> uh, the Nifers, the Beaners, the Asians, the almost white. That include Armenians, Irish, Italian, Greek. Jews, Russian. It doesn't include the Spanish and the Portuguese. I'm very offended. Yes. By that. And then the white. Okay, so let's start by talking about the white. I'll read from this. White men rule. There is nothing more to be said about that. Okay, so there are the advantages, but then let's go into the tribes of the white. And let's start by the rednecks. The rednecks. Rednecks are dumb as fuck, but they start the game with a chainsaw. Do not do not wasp. Uh, do not ask where they find them or how do they power them. They just run away screaming because that is what you do when you see a redneck <laughs> with a fucking chainsaw. Rednecks do not have a society per se. They just sit on the porch dressed like idiots and pick on strangers. Sometimes they gang up and go to hang Athians, fuck bitches and eat buffaloes. When they are having themselves a party, all species go extinct. <laughs> Drowning in the sea of barbecue sauce <laughs> and saturated fat. <laughs> okay. So this is not the right wing. Like not someone, yeah. not something that someone right wing would I say. I think so. Yeah. So then we have the, the another tribe called the Vikings. Vikings are the manliest men in all of manhood. They are so manly that you get that you get manlier just by thinking about them. Try it. It is fun. All Vikings start a game with a murder boner. This is these are powers. And the slasher boner. If they can use any amount of hate points, again, powers. On top of that, ah, fuck it, we cannot top that. Vikings wear horn helmets and, well, okay, never mind. Then we have, these were, these were the tribe, no, these were whites, and now uh, we have tribes that suck. And this includes some, uh, <laughs> some that I'm going to read. I'll read the, the pacifists far left, the wokeists. Mm -hmm. At the time, they weren't called that. Um, but now I'm going to start by the religious far right. 
And now I run the risk of offending people, but I don't care. Uh, the religious far right is practically the same shit as the pacifists far left, <laughs> except that the little voices in their heads that make them kill and maim come from a different source. The leftist, leftist voices are drugs and smart aleck induced. The fanatics are just plain dumb. God, they are so fucking incredibly dumb. They can use their dumbness as a blunt weapon and bludgeon you to death with it. Just like the leftists, they will burn you to save your soul, behead you to convince you of their peaceful intentions, rape a woman to protect her chastity, and blow up a school full of children to hell. Do they even need a reason? Most of these psychos live in the large city of Bumistan, as long as they have a reason to hate other people that do not care what the dominant religion is. Okay, so these are the far-right religions. And then we have the Nazis. Clean, orderly, polite, and genocidal, the Nazis want to kill everyone. They all dress the same, look the same, and talk the same. Nazis resemble clockwork soldiers, modern people, until they reach the higher ranks of leadership. Then they start resembling clowns. Nobody knows where the Nazis live. Most people do not even know if they exist in Haiti. Yet. But common, you seriously... Okay, that must be a mistake <laughs> But, so, okay, so what is this? Uh, anyway, so looks out some... Okay, I, 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 I've, I've missed something here. Anyway, these are the Nazis. And then you have the douchebags. I think they are white as well. <laughs> of course they are. They are the worst of the bunch. They are the people who shot shotgun when the car is still a mile away. They are the people who tell jokes about your dead, dead, dead <laughs> father. Not dead, 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 it would sound strange. A dead father at his funeral. They are the people who downloaded this book. <laughs> And you know what the worst part about them is? They don't have a part, they do not have a tribe of their own. They are everywhere. Okay, so let's go to the pacifists. I think we are all those bigs. Yeah. <laughs> pacifists are even more violent than real men are. They burn farms to free animals, throw stones to end wars, and get drunk and riot to promote a brighter future. Yeah, they, they are still doing this. Uh, their hate is so insanely high that it eclipses anything, everything else. They do not love humanity. They hate everything they think is wrong with it. In truth, there is nothing wrong in, with humanity except for violent pacifists and Amazonian feminists. These are also Amazonian, uh, the Amazons are uh, also characteristic. Okay, so these are a few examples of things that this uh, game makes fun of. Okay, so I'm making a stupid, uh, a stupid noise. Okay, never mind. It stops. So okay, uh, does this prove anything? Well, it's, it's not a fair right book, at least. Yeah, it's not. It's not supposed to be a fair right. Um, yeah, you can say, "Well, I don't like it because it's humor and it's satire, yeah, and I want my role playing, uh, my role playing games to be serious." That's uh, that's that's okay, but don't say it's far right propaganda. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's just uh, it's it's comedy, so it, it makes yeah, fun of several things. Think. Obviously, um, it is made uh, with the perspective in mind. So you're going to play the real men, which aren't supposed to be political. Uh, they are just stupid, uh, stupid and and, uh, and violent. Uh, but that would require I would read the the rules, and I'm not going to do that. And um, well, do they have powers that are bonus? Yeah, because I can read. Something. And well, they they fuck, and so they so the their status. Yeah, so they have uh, their stats are uh, brain, brawn, and balls, and uh, hate, horniness, and hunger. So they eat, they fuck, and uh, they are violent. Boners. Boners are powers that uh, real men have. And we can, uh, okay, uh, let's, for example. Let me do it. You can read it. Choose one and read it. <laughs> I'm not gonna read this one. No, 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 no. <laughs> when I can read. That's well. The there's a basic boner. Then there is the addictive boner. That you need to be a drug addict. Inhuman boner. That means it involves animals. Okay. Hungry boner. I'm just reading the names. Auto asphyxiation boner. Goom boner. Which I'm gonna send. A cannibalist boner. So this protects men, this doesn't protect men in a nice way. And that is why 
I was laughing when I read this book, even when it says women uh, are equipment, mm -hmm. they can't have stats because it's funny. What will be with you guys without us? Okay, so uh, I think we covered men. Yes. Men is offensive, yes. For I everything. didn't read the offensive bits. <laughs> 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 These were the things I could read. Okay, so if you want to read the offensive bits. Yeah, yeah, and if you don't like it because it's offensive, offensive anti satire, and you don't like uh, cursing in your books, then that's totally fine. And I'm not expecting you to, to like it, and I'm not expecting you to. But to yeah, play, this is not but, uh, propaganda. This is not uh, no, uh, far right propaganda just, or political propaganda. It's just comedy. I would say it's a it's a political. In a way that it makes fun of every uh, it's, it criticizes every, uh, all the sides. Yes, it's cock. It's almost neutral. Not entirely. Not, nothing is entirely neutral, but it's almost neutral. It's mostly uh, it's mostly comedy with the. Uh, and very dark and do you think people also comedy. forgot something about comedy well it's, first it needs to be funny and sometimes yes it needs to be offensive to be funny but uh, comedy is not supposed to do uh, a political point it's not supposed to be pro I think yeah. now there's uh, well but it's still political because uh, it yes. has to make fun of things and uh, yes but it's not but it's not supposed to be that's how it works for it to be funny you need to uh, make fun of things that people would care about yeah so uh, okay, uh, now I understand that you don't like this this kind of things in role playing games, and even that you are annoyed that we published this because then uh, we are introducing uh, political commentary in the game. Even though this is, I'm not sure if it should call it. It's, this is not just a game. This is a game as well, but it's also uh, a book to be read. Mm -hmm. That in that perspective, it's a book. So uh, it's called. Now, about our games, which are wretched. Are there politics in these games? Well, of course. These are not... Uh, yeah, this, because we try to, to, to have a world. So it's impossible. Can't... No, it's impossible to not have politics. In, for example, this game, this is 19th century in Paris. Well, it can be anywhere, but uh, the default place is 19th century Paris. So, it's a real place in real history. Are there politics there? Yeah, of course. But they have to be the politics of the time and yeah. not the made up politics. And that is something that we take seriously. Yeah, in this case, oh, it, we're it, not. Uh, uh, well, I forgot the name of the, the, the editor of uh, Cthulhu, the publisher of Cthulhu, Monte Carlosi. Yeah, I was going to say Carlosi, but I'm like, I'm, uh, we're not going to uh, reinvent history and, uh, in any way. Well, so, we're going to things, but we still want to be able to feel. Uh, so in this case, the reality there. we tried to uh, find a way that you could uh, play a, a, a woman character that wouldn't be an aristocrat, because uh, this is wretched, so you're not supposed to play uh, aristocrats. Well, you can't play aristocrats that are wretched, of course. But uh, we, if you want to play a, a criminal, which is more wretched than a, mm -hmm. a, than a, a murderer aristocrat, um, you can play an Apache mm -hmm. or an Apache gang, and there were women in those. Most of them were hookers, but, yes, but they were also well, thieves okay. in bed asses, but they... That's a way to play a woman that is not in the So, okay. Yeah, but it's they were, also, they were also, I think some of them were uh, thieves. Yeah, yes. they were thieves as well. They, they, they helped the men not just by the fucking clients, they also stole stuff. Yeah, I'm sure they, they knifed someone now and then. Yeah, probably. At least one or another. When they are having arguments, interbellum between wars. Yeah, there are politics in here. Lots of <laughs> lots of <laughs> politics here. You can play a Nazi. Yeah, you can book. play a Nazi. You can play a fascist. You can play uh, a Japanese secret agent or a Chinese secret agent. You can play lots of people that were connected to real politics, but not the politics of today. And uh, we can say that this is uh, historically accurate. Or at least entirely, this is pulp, so mm -hmm. it's not completely accurate, but it's accurate in the way that uh, we are not expecting you to play, let's say, a a woman that was a veteran uh, in the trenches of Verdun. Mm -hmm. You're not. But you can play that. a spy. You can fatal. Spy. Yes, you can play a, a female spy. Um, you can play. Uh, you can play a woman, obviously, because at this time it's uh, there are more options for that. But you can play. You can you should you're not supposed to play a character that wouldn't have a place at the time. So 
If you're playing a, a former soldier, it will be a man. And uh, and uh, what what else? Well, okay. So as I mentioned, there are politics mentioned there, but uh, in a neutral way. So these things happen. They are mentioned. You can play the characters because there are archetypes for that. But we are not um, lecturing anyone. Mm -hmm. Now this one, much new flesh. So no, that one doesn't have real world politics exactly this because one, it's the future. Well, it has uh, some uh, references because it's the future, but it's not a far future. It's not a space opera, so there are still references to things that uh, still exist that already exist and probably will. For example, there's a reference to something that we called the Great Progressive Purge, which is basically what is happening now. Because okay, so you have, you have to. This is the future, but this is the future from our own uh, present. So you can ignore the present if you're Indeed, right in the future. Ukrainian war, right? Before it goes uh, uh, Yeah, kind of. It's yeah. there in the book. I did, yeah. Um, so, so that it predicts something. So uh, the Great Progressive Purge is the, probably the only thing that can be traced to real, real politics of the current time. Well, probably not. Maybe a couple of other things, but very. It's tiny things, but anyway, it's uh, it's not uh, well, maybe the eco terrorists, but it's yeah, but that's uh, that's something that is supposed to exist. Yes. In a, it's not the first time someone puts eco terrorists in a no, science fiction game, I, I, I suppose, and the uh, transhumanists as well. Now, you were going to ask me, the, are they portrayed uh, truly as uh, as what? Uh, so, for example, the transhumanists. Are they portrayed as the bad guys? They are portrayed as uh, terrorists because they are terrorists. Uh, do they, I... do they want, if one, someone wants to play uh, a transhumanist or echo, they can? Yeah, there's nothing here to, 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 to prevent you from doing that. And they aren't actually characterized in a... Uh, no, as the bad guys, because the bad guys situation. are the monsters. Yes. Yeah, case. usually. So the good guys, if you want to... Well, but there are no good guys. These are wretched. So yes. the wretched guys. Let's call them the wretched guys. Yes, because if the, the if good you... guys are zone sick, they're also the bad yeah. guys. So they talk. They uh, work for a corporation. Yeah, exactly. So the they aren't not they aren't the good or the bad, but they are the default uh, characters. You are supposed to be working for a corporation, which is Takeda the corporation, or maybe you can be uh, a zone sick agent. Probably that's that's the. That's the way you can solve those problems that you want. If we, that's the way to solve the problem of how am I going to have a party? Mm -hmm. There's a hacker, there's a murderer, there's a whatever. So, zone say they hire people from several backgrounds to build up a team, and so zone say is that kind of thing. That that's uh, that that's the that usual uh, cliche for role playing games to to get a party together. So zone say. Are they the good guys? No, they aren't the good guys. First of all, they are cops, kind of uh, secret agents slash cops. Yeah, and they're not trying to actually break. Well, the law is whatever the corporation yeah. wants so it to be. Because not, this is a dystopic, uh, yeah. dystopic. Yes, this is a dystopic law. world. So again, we are not preaching. You can play, uh, and you can play other characters. These are the default ones because it's it's easier to have in like a role playing game to have some some default. Uh, way to join the characters, but you can play anything, uh, including transhuman terrorists. Do I do I like transhumans? Uh, do I think that's a, a an interesting uh, current of thought or whatever you can call it? No, not really. Uh, but hey, that's my opinion. If that's not your opinion, that's, I guess we could uh, read the book. Uh, being awoke people, uh, a woke person. Or a progressive left leftist, you could read this book, and occasionally you wouldn't like what you read. Not because uh, I'm preaching you to far right, to the far right, but because I'm describing uh, accurately some of the things you think and do, but not the way you describe them. I'm describing them accurately. And when we describe progress progressive leftist stuff in an accurate way, it becomes offensive. For them, of course, uh, they don't like you to describe what they do in an accurate way. You can you can uh, describe it their way, 
or you cannot talk about that, but if you describe it in an accurate way, they will be offended by it. So that's it. Now, uh, so wretched in general, the, the real politics that sip in are basically this. There's a little difference when yes. we talk about wretched bastards because that game is a little bit more. Uh... Well, let's first let's let's start with saying this is the the first setting. Yes, the that mm -hmm. uh, that yep. we wrote. I was the one that started writing it, and at the time, uh, well, we know that wretched would become uh, a game with lots of different uh, different settings. So we didn't at the time. Uh, we didn't know it was it was going to be a huge success. Exactly. <laughs> it's, we didn't know how famous and rich we would become. Uh, no, but still it's, it's, so. yes, exactly. That's why I wouldn't know. Yeah. We still don't know. Uh, so, uh, but the task here was to make uh, something inspire in those bad uh, eighty uh, fantasy movies, like spaghetti fantasy. And of course, at the time, I was seeing all these discussions uh, well, on no, Twitter. Spaghetti Western. Yes, no, spaghetti, but calling it spaghetti oh, fantasy. Yeah, okay. so about the, the conquest and all yeah, those barbarians. Yes. Uh, at the time, there I was uh, seeing all those discussions in, in Twitter about uh, how things that were offensive, and I decided to make fun of them in this book. So yeah, my bad. I still don't think it's political. It's just making fun well, of the... It's the uh, culture wars jokes. Yes, exactly. Of the world tropes. And then I, at the end, we'll say something about that. Because I guess in some things, I'm worse than you. So one of the interesting things that we have here in, uh, in Ratchet is two factions. So we have the Daughters of Xenia, I'm not going to read. Uh, the daughters of Xenia are a matri matriarchal order, so just women. They are healers, but they also well hate men and they are all lesbians, and they have the the habit of seducing young uh, rich girls, uh, so that then their fathers have to pay a ransom to get them back. By the way, the daughters of Xenia appear in other settings, yes. but they are a little bit different than this. They are sex magicians, and they still are kind of an order, uh, religious religious order. There's a real world Saint Xenia, so we established the, uh, that connection. There are travelers, healers, hookers sometimes, uh, and sex magicians mostly. And then we have the priest of Zardos. So the priest of Zardos is a patri patriarch, patriarch, archer, patriarchal, so, or I can't even say it how much I hate this word. Joking. Pa patriarchal. <laughs> they are basically they are uh, witch hunters, and of course they hate women. Because women are witches. Exactly. And so the these two uh, factions, the two orders, basically hate each other. And this is, uh, I'm going to say, oh, is this making a, a poke at both men and women, yeah, Marxists well, uh, and I feminists? Yeah, I don't really think that that's the, the kind of thing that would be uh, annoying people. Uh, no, I don't think it I does. Hope but this is, so. this is an example that, yes, I'm making fun of both sides. Because they're both ridiculous. Are you going to talk about the jokes? Uh, yes, I'm going to talk about the jokes. So, uh, not going to talk about the problematic subjects, but we did make sure that our our world, our fantasy world, is problematic. So yeah. we have a chapter saying slavery, there is slavery, uh, there is sexual inequality, slavery. racial inequality, slavery, yeah. debauchery, uh, homosexuality is a crime in most uh, in the scene in most places, because this is a fantasy world, inspired, of course, in it's not a high fantasy. fantasy. No, it's a Low fantasy and this sleazy thing. fantasy yes. world. So, yes. some of the jokes that that we put here was in the supporting cast. We had a list of asp aspiring heroes, and then we're making fun of the of this trope. So we have Timmy the cripple, that is a boy that wants to be uh, an hero, but unfortunately he have an accident and he he's now a cripple. But he has a friend that is a gnome that uh, it's uh, basically built built a combat wheelchair for him. So yes, we have Ooh. a combat wheelchair. It doesn't work. Well, it works, but it, it usually kills the, the person. Yeah, it's supposed it. to hurt the people that is using it. Because, yeah, probably. Uh, it's a mechanical and yes, and it's not just a combat wheelchair, it has some other utility. There. And then we have, well, the uh, Alf Hork is a, a spying hero because orcs are evil. But this one hates, uh, orcs. hates orcs and wants her daddy that is human to, to accept her. So a guy had sex with. She wasn't, uh, well, she wasn't uh, produced by rape, but he's a female orc raping yeah. a man. And then we have, well, let's say Sir Orlando of Sidonia, that is a knight, and it's the knight in shining uh, armor, like the annoying paladin. I hate paladins. But then I put uh, a plot hook as a gender swap. If people want, uh, Sir Orlando is actually his sister pretending to be a man to 
run from the patriarchy. The Knights of Sidonia amazingly turned out to be Jedi Knights. Yeah, and not <laughs> Jedi Knights. But they, they were. Well, I have more, but I think this was the example. And yes, I will say that in this book, there are uh, some... Armored combat uh, uh, Yes, armored combat goats. And you have, uh, well, a dwarf the sex poop. maniac. Yeah, that was my character. <laughs> I love Galatus. Uh, but yeah, so what I was going to say, this is another one that was made to poke a joke, so Sister Pride. This is not political. There's a rainbow there. Yes. Of course it is. So this was uh, uh, launched in, in June, Pride Month, but this is actually a, a murder mystery. When people are going to suspect Sister Pride, that is a character from, from another book. Yeah. But because she's a tranny, people will suspect her from killing. So this is uh, about the trope of the uh, guy dressed as a woman killing women. That's a popular trope for some yeah, for some reason. It wasn't. It wasn't us. We went to that. Unfortunately, I would like to have, to have been the. the so I was going that. to say that maybe I may be a little bit guilty of poking fun, but normally it's just the title of an adventure. So the adventures are not really. So it's baiting. I would say kind it doesn't of, work. Well, the, the, <laughs> anyway. no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, the people <laughs> buying it. Um, oh, what I want to say about politics, if I can cut you in, or everything being politic, I see, of course, we are anti cancel culture because we want to make, we want to consume and now produce content that is not uh, washed out. We like horror, we like uh, uh, controversy, and also we like. Uh, not political in the sense that they are. Um, that that we also don't like when mm -hmm. they are telling you yes we're not preaching who are you going to vote to for and uh, what you should believe in and so we are not preaching but I would say that yes we are anti we do have a, a place in the we chosen a place on the culture wars but that's because we like uh, challenging content adult content for <laughs> adult people yeah uh and well someone has to do it yeah and right now not many are doing it if someone, because they're afraid if someone is and we we could expect well maybe we, we could think okay so we are the only one doing that we should be successful right no we aren't because we are cancelled and um yeah that's that's the thing well, um, but people that buy it want it so there's we're doing it for yeah, a niche inside yeah, a niche it's a very small niche there may be some more people that could even uh, be interested, but they probably never heard about it. So they and uh, they will never heard about it. So uh, they will never hear about it. Um, okay. So uh, even when we started, there were some some uh, possibly controversial controversial stuff. Like for example, this one we're talking about this one. This is just... Well, that can be considered political in that sense. Not, yeah, not it because it talks about political yeah, uh, a... uh, in Portugal after yeah. the, the revolution. But, uh, yes. Yeah, so so some... there's a lot of politics. So, okay, so let, let's talk about this. Uh, when this, this one was published by, first it was published by Postmortem Studios, and it's, it's still there probably. Um, I think it was that one that, uh, yeah. That, mm -hmm. that, so okay. you can, the you can still find that. If you, if you look at uh, the, still in drive the name is the same. Um, it's still on Rifle, yeah, uh, because it was released by Postmortem, not by us. So you can still find it. There's a comment there by uh, by someone who purchased this, this and the, the other two Giallo scenarios. And the guy says that I... Um, glamorized the... Yeah, glamorized the Portuguese uh, far-right uh, dictatorship. Which you don't. Which I didn't. I'm just mentioned. Um, Especially this is after the. Yeah, it's the, it had already finished, uh, ended with the revolution. Quite the opposite. I I mentioned several times that things were much better now. Well, now, now in how the now. In how the country has developed in uh, after the. But at the first, at the same time, it was a mess political. People were throwing bombs everywhere. Yeah, it was. There was a crisis, so uh, things got better in the in the following years, fortunately. Uh, but right after it was. Yeah, right after the the, the usual thing. There's a revolution, and uh, and it's the post revolutionary period. Um, so um, yeah, it's political, obviously. Uh, it's in the real world. In the real world, we cannot avoid politics. 
but I, I think that one of the reasons, well, unless for the works first, is, you already said, is to consider our work as political or far. It's because you are showing things without preaching. So yep. if you are showing things in a neutral way, yes. and you're showing bad yep. things and you're being neutral yep. about it, then uh, you are evil. Yes, of course. So for, for example, let's talk about a little bit about the, the Portuguese dictatorship that uh, lasted for 40 years. <laughs> Um, and that yeah. is the reason why I would say that we hate when people that throw fascists around. Yes, they were the. It was uh, an Portuguese actual. Fascism. Yeah, it was a version of fascism. It was inspired by Italian fascism. It wasn't exactly the fascism. Of but Italian, it was officially it's, a fascist. Yeah, it's officially yeah. a fascist because because it was, uh, it was born at the same time. So there was a direct inspiration. Yeah, the same thing that happened in Spain. Um, so it was actual fascism. Um, Obviously, there were very, very, very bad things about it, and many bad there things. There were huge poverty level. Mm -hmm. There were also good things about it. For example, Portugal is not part of the Second World War because of that. And yeah, that's good for the people that didn't that they didn't, weren't forced to go to the war and yeah. die. The people who survived. Uh, for example, I may I could uh, I could have never been born if um, if Portugal was. <laughs> Yeah, so my grandfather <laughs> was uh, of uh, of age uh, when the war started, and he could have been, if Portugal was in the war, he could have died. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that uh, they were neutral. Then they were yeah, the time, but they also, because they were neutral, they also, uh, well, there was at least, you know, that uh, uh, consul that saved a lot of a lot of Jews. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and a lot of them ran to Portugal because it well it was and uh, yeah in Portugal it was used as a point of uh, uh, well a spy network and also mm -hmm. uh, uh, a way a gateway into the US as everybody who saw Casablanca probably did. Um, so what else? Um, so these were, I, I suppose, good things. The other possibly that you can call, perhaps, good things. We are Portuguese, so even <laughs> when there's a rev when there's a uh, when there's a revolution, the same thing. The revolution was interesting because the uh, about the I don't know how many people died in that revolution, probably less than ten. So no, that's, I think ten is a lot. Yeah, probably five maybe. This is the Portuguese way of doing things. We do it um, discreetly and uh, peacefully because I don't like trouble. And I think that's a way, well, well, we never got after then a communist regime because people were like, okay, we didn't yeah. like the, the uh, we didn't like the fascism, but we went, now we went quiet. We don't want another. So uh, we had a kind of a, a transition, a very small period when, when there was a... Yeah, it was a couple of years. That a kind of crazy. Proletariat dictatorship, but then it was just a socialist government well before the socialist there was yeah a, they had a counter revolution people were trying yeah. to stop but that was yeah in bombs everywhere that was not uh, a nice time but like Portuguese no, i was like i was born at the time but the, yes. most of those things happen in the other parts of the country small towns especially so okay so this is about uh there are several scenarios of us that uh, um, take place in that in that time so uh, because it's an interesting time and probably there'll be more yeah probably so, uh, going back to propaganda and politics, uh, is there any game from us that could be compared to queers or uh, lesbian? Thursday says, ah, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 lesbian. Thirsty, not thirsty. Not, thirsty not, lesbian. Thirsty yeah. okay, so sword lesbian. Yeah, that's it. Uh, no, of course not. Not even men, obviously. Because men, men is, is a joke. Yeah, men is a joke. It's not preaching. Yeah. I think it's time for me to do a revised edition with new uh, AI art mm -hmm. to offend people who don't like AI art. Is that political as well? We are using AI art. I don't know. Probably. But not always. Um, so that's it. I think the, the fact that we are not preaching, that we don't have that uh, chapter where we say... We don't have agenda. Yeah, the, the, that, that manifesto. The to have is please buy our shit. We have cats to feed. Yeah. And yeah, well, look, okay, we are um we are pro free speech. And in that uh in that uh, uh since I'm talking about that, I recently published a, 
something that uh, scenario that someone saw sent me asking for me to publish it's it. It's, heard, uh, it's free, it's free scenario. Yeah. yeah. And that is yeah, a, a wokest, a crazy yeah. wokest. Uh... It's a, uh, the leftist answer to the good the good Sumerian. Marian, that we Marian, yeah. So it's the so, evil Sumerian. Uh, no, 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 I don't think that's no. the name. So anyway, that's something, some, something okay. like, like that. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, well, it's, but now you publish it, so people cannot. Yeah. Say, you also publish something woke. Exactly. So there's something woke in the in the Red Room store. Um, because I think, I believe free speech is uh, should be uh, a thing, and the. I'm not going to write woke stuff because I don't want to, but uh, I don't mind if, if that those things exist. And uh, if uh, first this word lesbians and queers and uh, whatever else is published, and I don't really care if um, Wizard of the Coast are wokening their games. You I don't, don't care, care about their games. I'm not anyway. going to buy them. So they can ruin it if they want to. Um, but uh and I, okay so those games should they exist why not i'm not going to buy them but they should exist they should be sold in stores even if some are uh for adults public okay so that's just you just have to, to mention that other than that yeah i think so there's no reason for them to to be uh silenced or... it doesn't mean that you cannot complain about them that's what yes. you say inside this sucks of course, and make fun of uh, woke tropes, especially woke tropes in role playing. Yeah, funny. Yeah, I like making fun of them because they are ridiculous. And why not make fun of woke tropes? Uh, I'm like... not going to write something to make fun of that for Earth Girl because that's too low. No, I mean, I mean, no, I'm joking. Never. <laughs> Earth Girl is, is funny. We never did anything about specifically not a scenario, an entire scenario about anything, but uh, references, some minor character. All these things we were mentioning in in Ratchet Bastards. These yeah, are just small things. They're not the story. Yeah, it's not the story. It's just a, a, a small reference, minor character. Well, but story. I think it's funny because if you go especially with with fantasy, and then you want to have that like that Easter egg that is a reference yeah. to something else. I like that on games. I think so. That's, that's, if, uh, most people won't even notice it because you have to read the whole book uh, to find that uh, Easter egg there. But well, we know it's there. Um, so I don't think it's really a problem. Um, and uh, I suppose uh, this is it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you, if this will change anyone's uh, not. concepts about uh, ideas about us. Probably not. I don't think so. But, uh, well, at least that you don't think that we are propagandists or uh, activists. Not in our games, at least. Well, I'm not an activist in anything. <laughs> I'm not an activist in anything. Either. Although I, I am active in X, posting things about uh, Trunt, but that is another thing. I'm not... Uh... But I'm not an activist because of that. Yeah, it's not yet. To be an activist, it requires a little more than that. It's just something that interests you. It annoys and... me. Yeah, it annoys you. I also post about things that annoy me, and uh, I wouldn't call myself an activist in that way. But I'm going to get something for a, a new resolution. I'm going to try to post more about things that I like, not so much about things that. Yeah, annoy that, me. That, that's something that, that's a problem I always have. I it's easier for me to talk about things that mm -hmm. I do not like than things I do like. So it's easier for me to make fun of uh, woke stuff than to just do a video about mm -hmm. something that I like about some something. Uh, but that's uh, a personal thing. And to finish this, Trade. let me say again, because I think I told this before, another thing that I think is very funny is when people come and tell that we are uh, or else we're right or uh, yes. Catholics or Christians or woke, uh, Trump supporters. Yeah, that, that one is funny. Because first, well, we're not American, so yeah. we cannot be Trump. Well, it doesn't really matter. If we are wrong. Well, 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 I think there are people. So, yes. like, something I always thought is like, well, but it's not your country, so don't involve yourself in another country's politics. Not really. No, that, so that's, that's... You guys decide who you want to, to elect. Uh, we are not Catholics or we Christians, are Catholics. or we, uh, we don't believe in God, yeah. but we are not atheists in the new annoying not part of the, of the world. Years ago, I would call myself an atheist. Not anymore, because atheists uh, are strange now. 
they are not exactly the same thing. And they are and they act like cultists. Yes. And that's a very weird but thing. Approved. People, yes, so I don't believe in God, but I understand that most people need to believe in God. That's why atheists are becoming acting like cultists because they don't need to believe in, in something. Uh, yeah. But well, that's another video. The, the, the Christians usually say that there are other reasons for that to have a moral behavior and all that. I don't think so. But, but I, maybe I, for I, some I, people, yes, for some strange. People. I don't think I wouldn't say that I. I don't feel I need it, but. I, if, yeah, I, well, I'm. I, I understand. I have a, I have my own code of values, and I don't think it's that different. Because okay, so even if you don't believe in God, you are in a society that is, in this case, and a, you are influenced by Christian, the... in this case, a Catholic society. In our case, in Portugal, so obviously the values are shared, even for even with people that are not really. Uh, in Portugal, it's strange. Most people are supposed to be religious or Catholic, but they don't really care. They believe there's a God, and but they don't. Uh, they don't go to church only for or, weddings and, and they don't baptism in the Bible, and they don't pray and they don't think about it. They, they just believe there's something and just go on, go on with their lives without caring that much about it. So I guess it's basically the same thing. We are basically the same thing as those as most people in Portugal. The only difference is we don't really believe there's a God, or at least not mm -hmm. the, the God from that religion or the other, or any other, because I don't think that, that's a real thing. You that, it, then you have to also rebel against the values. So maybe that's yeah. So I never rebel against anything because I was, um, I was never, uh, I was never a believer. So it was, it wasn't something that I decided when I went to college and had uh, classes of uh, about uh, socialism, whatever. No, I, when I when I was an adult, I already was a non-believer. So for me, it was a lifetime thing. So I never rebel against anything. I just can't. Uh, uh, I just can't believe in something like that. I think also because there are different religions that even that they have the same God, but the perspective is different. So why is this one right and the other one wrong? I don't know. Probably they are all wrong. That's that's the most obvious uh, answer for that. And if I am wrong, I'm going to hell. So that's my problem, or something like that. It depends on who's right. Yeah, depends on who's right. But no, I'm always going to hell or other place because since I don't believe in any, uh, I'm always fun. And most people are fun. Let's face it. <laughs> Someone will be fun if independently. If I am right. Everybody's fine <laughs> because it's just stop existing. If you are right, all the other guys are wrong and they will be fucked. So most people will be fucked anyway. Okay, so we are talking about <laughs> another subject. Uh, so politics, yes, no, you decide. And uh, that's all for now. That's all for now.